welcome to 30 Days of Code. This web series is designed for people with little to no programming experience that want to learn how to code. Whether you're young or old, this web series is for anyone wanting to learn more about computer science without feeling intimidated or pressured. In this series, you'll learn how to code, but you'll also learn other things. You'll learn how to be more resourceful, looking at things you don't know along the way, and how to break down big problems into smaller pieces, making programs that seem intimidating at first, but are easily broken down. Along with the tutorials, each video is also accompanied by a hacker and coding challenge. You'll learn things from the videos, but in order to understand what's really going on, you have to put your skills to the test. It may be scary at first, but don't give up. Coding takes lots and lots of practice, and no one gets it right away, which is why the challenges will help you hone in your skills. While you're coding, if you share a picture of the tutorial series or the hackering coding challenges with the hashtag 30 days of code on social media, you'll be entered to win one of five $20 Amazon gift cards. There's also a free calendar you can download in the description. Now let's get started on day zero. So before we can write any code, we have to download the right software that will help us make programs. It's kind of like when you edit a photo, you have to download Photoshop or whatever photo editor you're using before you can edit a photo. And so to do this, we can go to any browser and we're going to type in download Java. We'll hit enter and we'll scroll down, choose the second link here and it'll load and we'll scroll down and we want to download the JDK, which is right here. And basically the JDK allows us to use NetBeans, which is our IDE. Okay, a lot of acronyms. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. So basically what that means is that NetBeans includes a lot of stuff that makes writing code easier. So it includes a really easy interface to mess with. It includes a debugger, stuff like that. And it just makes our jobs easier as software developers. And so we're gonna go ahead and click download. We'll scroll down and we'll click accept to everything. And you won't need this stuff down here. This is what we want. We want the development kit. And so depending on what device you have, what kind of laptop, desktop, whatever, but you do need a laptop or desktop, you'll download whatever it works for you. And so I have a Mac, and so I'm gonna download this. And notice it pops up down here. We'll wait a bit for it to download. So now that it's done downloading, we will click it open. It will open up for us. We'll double click. And we'll kind of just follow all the instructions here. Install. I type in my password every time I install something new, and so that's why that came up. And so it's gonna install it all for me. And now we're done. So now we're gonna download NetBeans, and NetBeans is gonna use this development kit that we just downloaded, and it will help us write the code. It's our Photoshop, it's our Illustrator for writing code. And so we'll open a new window, just type in NetBeans, Hit enter, we'll say download the NetBeans IDE, we'll click it, and we just downloaded all the Java stuff with SE, and so we will actually download this version. And if you wanna use other languages, you can, but for the purposes of this 30 days of code, we're just going to download this one. And it should start, if it doesn't start, follow the stuff here. And if you click installation instructions, and scroll down. It'll say required software and it shows that we do need the development kit because we need the actual Java runtime environment for this to work and for our things to run. So now we'll just wait for it to download down here. So now that it's done downloading, we will click it down here. The installer, it'll open and we'll double click this. We'll hit continue. And again, we'll just kind of go through this, agree to everything, install, and install. It'll do its thing, and then we'll be ready to code. And now it's done, so we'll hit close. And so if we go into our launch pad and type in NetBeans, there it is. We can click it, open it, and we can actually drag this over here if we want it in our dock, which I will because I'm gonna use it a lot. And it's gonna load, as everything does. 
and it might take a while if it's your first time opening it because everything's got to, you know, settle into your desktop. And it's going to look pretty dull, pretty blank because we have not created anything. We haven't coded anything. But we will right now. And so the first thing you usually do in any new programming language or if you're new to code is create a Hello World program. And so if we go to file up here, we can actually create our first, you know, project. And it's going to be a Hello World project. It's going to be great. And so we'll go to new project up here after clicking file, new project. We're going to make this a Java application. I'll go through this process more in the next video, but just kind of click yes to everything and keep going. And we are going to call this the Hello World project because that's what you do for any new project in any new language or new to code. This is what you do conventionally in the computer science world when you're new to something. And so here we are. We will click finish. And it's going to create a bunch of files for us. We're not going to worry about that right now, but later on we will. And right now I'm just going to show you like how, what, like, I'm going to show you a little bit of the magic of code. And so here we are, we're in our first file and here it is. What, what do I do with this? Well, we are going to create our first little program by printing hello world to the console. And the console is basically this little window that you can use to communicate to the computer and that the computer can use to communicate back to you. And so we have this like main thing down here, which we'll talk about again later, but this is just an introduction. And we'll hit enter and inside of here we're going to do a print statement to the console. So the computer is going to do some work and then print stuff to this little window, the console, and that's how we're going to see it as the user. And so if we do system.out.println, open parenthesis, double quote, hello space world, and then do a little semicolon there, we have just created our first line of code. This line of code will allow the computer to print something out to the console where we can see it. But it hasn't done it yet, so we need to save this. And then we're going to press the little play button up here, which is going to allow us, the user, to see it. And so we press play, and there it is, hello world. We gave it hello world, and it printed out hello world to us, the user, inside of this window, which is called the console. Don't believe me? Well, we can do hello world with an exclamation point here save it, play it again, and it will print hello world with the exclamation point. And then if you put anything inside of these two double quotes, then that is what's going to be printed out to the console. And so that's what this is. And yeah, that's basically the end of this video. And so you might be wondering, okay, that was cool. We did a little bit of code. Can I expand on it? Well, this is where the hacker rank challenges come in. And so I'm going to go to the internet here and we'll type in hacker rank. And here we are, and so this is a lot of things. You might have to log in, create an account, but that's totally cool. And so once you've done that, you'll go to contests, and you'll click on my little 30 days of code here, and you'll view details, you'll join it and stuff, and then you'll be brought to one of the challenges. And so here it says it's not available yet, it begins tomorrow, but we can look at it anyway, and here we are. This is our challenge, and here it describes the challenge, which is going to allow you to, you know, know what's going on and what to do. And then you'll scroll down, and here you can actually put the code that we just put in inside of here. Here we had system.out.println, hello world. That's what's over here. These main functions serve the same purpose. And so you'll do some code here on 30 Days of Code with me and this type of IDE. And then for the challenges, if you want to challenge yourself and do stuff outside of the videos, this would be where you would go. You would go to hackerinc.com and I'll always put the link down below to the next challenge and so you don't have to kind of search for it on here. But I highly recommend you do the challenges because Watching the videos again is one thing, but actually coding yourself, messing around with the different variables, with the different functions that you're going to learn is going to be what really helps you understand Java and understand how to code. So I hope you liked this video. The link to this hackering challenge will be down below in the description and the code that we did in this video, the hello world code will also be down in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will answer it. And I hope to see you tomorrow.